Hi, I'm Holly Clegg. Welcome to my kitchen for another Rush Hour recipe. I consider myself a crab cake connoisseur. I think wherever I go, I always order crab cakes. So I really know what makes them. But have you ever had crawfish cakes? You know, being from Louisiana, we are big into crawfish. And I know many of you out there have never even had crawfish. In fact, I remember doing the Today Show one time and I was doing a crawfish etouffee recipe and I brought crawfish in the bags, peeled tails, and everybody thought I was gonna make these big crawfish. Those are for crawfish boils. The way I cook with my crawfish is you buy them in a bag and, and they're already tails. And you look for Louisiana crawfish because you know you're getting the best. So. This is a crawfish cakes with horseradish sauce. And actually, this is true. I was having dinner last night, and this friend said, guess what I made for dinner? Your crawfish cakes with horseradish sauce. She went on and on about the horseradish sauce. So I'm gonna start with that today. And it's, again, very simple. You just have your fat-free sour cream, or you could use light. Remember, everything I do is trim and terrific. This is a little light mayo, little lemon juice, and horseradish. We put a lot of horseradish in it because that's the type of sauce. And then you could just do a pinch of sugar. And you just mix it up and you keep it in the refrigerator and you are done. In fact, this is great on so many recipes, so don't just save it for the crawfish cakes. Now, crawfish cakes, I like, you know, whether it's crab meat or crawfish, I like it to be full of the crawfish. So that's, there's not a lot of filling. I tried this a little different. This is saltine crackers that I just mashed up in my food processor. So you start with that. And this is a little light mayo. This is gonna be our binding agent. And I think Dijon mustard just adds just a little bit of flavor, a little pungentness to it. And here's sort of a secret ingredient, just a third of a cup of reduced fat sharp cheddar cheese. And I love that in it. And here's parsley and you know, when you're using like this much parsley, I really do prefer fresh, but hey, whatever you have on hand. Green onions. And here's our Louisiana crawfish tails. For those of you that aren't familiar, this is how I bought them, just like this. They come in a bag and I rinse and drain them. And crawfish tails come cooked, so you really just, uh, you could use them in a salad or whatever. So let's add our crawfish. Okay, you mix it together, and then you're just gonna mold them into little crawfish cakes. Such, now what's great about this recipe, you could freeze it right now, you can put it in the refrigerator, and then just put it in a skillet when you're ready to cook. And you just put it in the skillet till it's just a light brown. And you have the most delicious crawfish cakes. Now, for those of you that don't know this, I have a cookbook with all Louisiana and Southern recipes called Gulf Coast Favorites. Best of all, it's all your Louisiana favorites, trim and terrific. So for this recipe and many more, just see the link below, and I hope you'll give crawfish a try, especially our wonderful Louisiana crawfish. Mm -hmm.